Hey, what's up? This is Rob Gordon, the wingman, back at the lake for another tutorial. This is jiving for dummies. I say that because I'm a dummy. I'm not good at jiving. Historically, I've never been good at jiving. As a windsurfer, I used to tack a lot. As a kiteboarder, I actually was one of the first guys riding twin tips simply because I didn't want to switch my feet. I wasn't good at it. In winging, unfortunately, right now, there's no way around it. We're going to break it down. I'm going to show you what to do with the wing. I'm going to show you what to do on the board, and then we'll get on the water and do some uh, follow cam footage of exactly what I'm doing. One thing I would recommend is practice this stuff on land with the wing. And then once you get that, if you have a spot like this where you can do some wing skating, practice it with the wing skating because that will allow a more realistic simulation and it'll allow you to feel what it's like to get back winded, which is something you want to avoid on the jive. All right, so let's get started because the wind is already up. It's just going to get windier. Let's talk gear really quick. I'm on a small board. I learned on a small board. It's actually easier to jive on foil on a small board. When you're on a big board, it just really amplifies any movement you make. And it feels super sketchy when you're jiving on that foil. It's easier to learn how to taxi jive on a big board or a wing skate. Once you're really learning how to do this, you got to get on one of these foils it's not because i'm an access guy it's just go back and watch the video review i do of the first time i ride the access it was night and day this is what i'm using in the video it's the 910b it's it's kind of a slower foil but it's just so stable and you can pump it and if you're finding yourself like getting around touching down you know taxiing at the end of your jives look try a better foil it doesn't have to be access. I just know these work so good. I've put people on them and they're just like, whoa, dude, I'm jiving. Cabrina makes some nice new foils. Uh, there are other good foils. This is a great intro to access foil. If you're going from like a low aspect, get on this thing just to learn and then get yourself like the HPS or the ART and you're just going to be blown away by the high performance. They're not paying me to say that. You know, I demo their gear for them in LA. It's just good gear. So there's two basic methods of doing the jive. There's the surfer way and the wind surfer way. The surfer way, your goal is to luff the wing, get it up in the air early, high and parallel to the water so the wind just passes by it and doesn't get back winded. If you go too low, you can get back winded. Your goal on the surfer method is just to keep that wing up high, out of the way, and focus on riding that foil in the turn until you get around and then you can repower when you're ready. The windsurfer method, you're gonna be riding along with power. You're gonna extend the front arm, sheet in, bend forward, that's gonna drive you downwind through the turn with the wing. The wing is gonna pull you into the turn. As you get downwind, you quickly release, switch hands, and then repower sheet in and crank through the turn. That's the windsurfer method that I do, just because I like to have power in the wind. Okay, so let's go through them both. Surfer method. We're going, we're going, we're going. As we get to start our turn with our legs, we release the wing, let it just luff up high and parallel to the water. We get around. Once we're riding on toe side, riding that foil, then we repower. The windsurfer method, we're riding along with power. Switch that front hand upside down. That allows you to turn the wing with one hand if you have to. So front hand upside down, extend the front arm, sheet in, power through the turn. As you get downwind quickly, really switch hands, repower and sheet in to get going the other way, okay? Okay, let's show the other direction. We're riding this way. We want to do the surfer method. Let go of the wing. Just let it luff over your head. Fly through on the foil. Get to the other side. When you feel ready, switch hands, repower. Switch feet if you want to. Wing surfing style. We're riding along. We're riding along. Switch that front hand upside down. Extend the front hand, sheet in, let it pull you through the turn. As you start to turn, let go, quickly switch hands, repower, sheet in and crank through the turn. 
Switch feet. Look, there's two secrets to jibing. One is good foils. I'm sorry, it just is. I hate that it is. They do cost money. Good foils, number one most important thing to completing your jibes on foils, in my opinion. Two, this is a tip I got from Nick Obea. He's Obea Nick on Instagram. Check him out, awesome rider, awesome instructor. When you're jibing, or when you're riding, set your mast so that you can ride with both feet on the front of the board without the board going down or up. You should just be able to plant your feet in one spot on the front of the board and just ride level. This is the key. Let me repeat that. This is the key. You have to find that spot. It doesn't even matter where the lift is in my opinion, but you need to, when you're riding, find out where is that spot on your board that you can put both feet and just ride along without the board going up or down? So let's look at how you're going to do your feet. This is with foot straps. It doesn't matter, okay? If you're regular like me, you're riding along in the straps. You're getting ready to jibe. You switch your front hand over. Take that back foot out of the strap and put it right in front of the strap. Some people put it a little further to help with the turn. You know, just, I do mostly center line, maybe a little bit further. You're riding along like this, catch your balance. Shift that front foot more parallel and work it out of the straps so that once you get around, you're not gonna get stuck in there. Then, initiate your turn. I do it by putting the front arm forward, sheeting in, leaning forward. As you get around to toe side, get yourself in a comfortable position again. And then I quickly Bring this front foot up, step the front foot back, and repower. That's for the regular strong side jibe with a foot switch. If you're doing just going to toe side and not going to switch feet, it doesn't matter. You know, you just leave the feet in the straps or whatever. Okay, so one more time. You're riding along. Switch your hand upside down. Front foot, front hand, palm up. Take the back foot out in front of the foot strap. Maybe sheet in or get some lift. Uh, umbrella in the wing just to get that foot out. Work that front foot out more parallel. Start your turn. Once you get around the toe side, repower, find that balance, and then quickly switch feet. If you know where your center of lift is, and I do because I already shot this footage and it ends up being somewhere around here, if you want, when you switch feet, you can actually just stand here for a second and get comfortable, then work your way into the straps. If you're riding switch already, my recommendation is start by switching your feet before the turn so that you can end up strong side. So in that case, you'll be riding along, take that back foot out, work this foot out, go downwind just a little bit, and find that center of balance. Like I said, I know on this video, it's gonna be right here. Just ride like this, going slightly downwind until you feel comfortable. Then get that front foot in the foot strap, step back, the back foot doesn't have to go in the foot strap, and now you can crank the turn and you'll end up going strong side with that foot in the foot strap. Then you can get it on the other side. So one more time, you're going along switch, Take that back foot out. Go downwind a little bit. Find that center of balance. Get the front foot in the strap, or the new front foot in the strap. Back foot back. Crank your turn, and you're riding the other way. That's my recommendation. Eventually, I would like to do both turns the same way. But unlike windsurfing, because the foil is so balance-centric, it does seem to help to do it this way to learn. So let's do them both the other way. Let's imagine you're a goofy rider. You'll be going along, going along regular for you, strong side. Take the back foot out. Work the foot out. Do your turn. As you get to the other side, bring the front foot up, back foot back. And then for you guys, if you were riding switch, Back foot out. 
I don't even know how to do this. Work the foot out, find that center of balance, get the, the new front foot in the strap, other foot back, then crank your turn. All right, let's get on the water. This wind is getting up pretty high. Okay, so the first thing is to find that center of balance. So I take my foot out and I'm just kind of shuffling my feet around until I find that spot where the board is happy to just stay level and not go up or down. And you'll see it should be really stable when you find it. You can really do whatever you want in there. You can bounce around, do little tippy taps. And just and ride. And then, and then that way when you're ready to switch your feet, you can just slowly shuffle around on that spot. And then once you're in the you know other position, you can turn around pretty easily. Well, there's really nothing to it. It's pretty easy. Not really, but it's not as hard as it feels at first. So let's break down the four types of jibes I think every rider needs to know in order to ride waves and also to be able to shoot up wind by switching feet. Okay, the first jibe you need to learn is strong side to toe side. It's going to be the easiest, most intuitive, and it has the least moving pieces. I'm out of the harness. I've got the wing up over my head, bending my knees, front hand facing up. I'm going to initiate the turn with my legs, luff the wing all the way around to toe side, repower the wing, and just continue to ride toe side. Notice my leash is wrapped around my shoulder. That's because I lent my leash belt to a friend. Okay, let's slow this down. Remember, you can always slow down the speed of YouTube videos by clicking the three dots in the upper right corner. Okay, so you see here, I'm out of the harness. I will flip my front hand upside down, palm up, and I'm gonna start getting some speed, but I'm gonna keep the wing up over my head in the umbrella position as I squat down. I wanna get speed, but I want that lift and I wanna be focusing on the board. You're going to use your body weight to initiate the turn. So keep up the speed, bend forward over the board, initiate the turn, front foot pressure to foil through the turn. And you'll see as I get downwind, I let go of the backhand, I quickly switch hands, turn really hard here, and then I repower quickly that is a windsurfing type of turn i like to have the wind power my balance is not good i will show you the surfer strategy right after this so watch the difference here right as i go into the turn here i let go for a much longer time and i'm just riding the foil letting that wing flop in the air they just get some speed ride the foil they ignore the wing. They get it up over their head parallel to the water so that the wind can just pass against it. And then they just ride that foil all the way through the turn. When they feel ready, they just repower the wing once they're around. It's really important to keep that wing high because if you don't, like here, ooh, you get back winded by your apparent wind. And then you can't always recover. <laughs> Watch here why I do it the other way. This is when I'm trying to switch feet. And as I switch feet, I lose my balance, but I'm able to save myself by pulling hard on that wing where the wind is. And also pushing hard against the foil and carving it through the water, which generated some lift as well. But back to jiving, you do this no foot switch jibe to toe side. You continue to ride toe side as long as you want or until you get tired. And then when you're ready, you're gonna carve out to strong side, but it's really easy to do because you're gonna end up on your strong side and you're in your comfortable riding position. I don't have too much to say about this jibe other than don't go too fast when you're starting because you will probably get back winded. So either do the surfer method or just really be prepared to whip that wing around. So you'll see here, I switch hand. And I'm very quickly powered up as I'm cranking through the turn. Uh, you guys will not have too much trouble with this, I don't think. So we'll move on to the uh, next step. The one thing I do want to say, don't start by cranking around as far up into the wind as I am, end in sort of like a downwind position on your first jibes to toe side, especially. Um, that will just help you maintain the speed and not overturn. Uh, so just, that's my suggestion. Don't go 
all the way around when you first start, just like I'm showing with this footage right now. Okay, let's look at how we switch feed after the jibe so that we can get really far upwind on switch. So first thing you need to do is get the foot out of the foot strap. You can, you know, power up the wing a little bit, umbrella it, or even use a little chop to get that balance. You might have missed it, but I also loosen up that front foot and twist it more parallel so I can take it out easier later. On this jab, my back foot is pretty far across the board like a windsurfer. It will help with the turn, and it might help or hurt your balance once you get the to toe side. It's the same steps for getting around the turn as the other jibe you know, surfer or windsurfer style. Once you get around, now you have to start thinking about changing your feet. You'll see on this one, I actually touch down just for a second. So I repower the wing, get a little bit more speed, get my balance. And that's when I find that center of balance again. And I just hang out there. Uh, you don't have to do that, but you, if you know where it is, that always gives you an option, and then you can just keep tweaking your feet around until you get that front foot in the foot strap, and then a back foot if you want, and then you're solid. Let's take a look at one where we just switch our feet quickly without stopping. Also in this clip, notice how straight my front arm is and how my back arm is sheeted in. I actually normally let the wing pull me around instead of just using the board. Once I'm around and have some power and speed, I quickly move my back foot up to the center of balance and my front foot back. So in the slow-mo, you see me squat down here, shift forward, extend that front arm to let it pull us through the turn. Sheeting in, and we let go, switch hands quickly, repower. And then as soon as we catch our balance, get a little bit more speed, maybe look for some chop to give you lift or sheet in just a bit or umbrella and then quickly move the foot up and back and try and find your spot. Look, it's not a beautiful, I'm not the best at jiving. We've already been over that. I'm going to try and add a clip now of my friend P-Tone and he's got a beautiful foot switch here. I'll go ahead and uh, link his YouTube up on top here. So now for the last jibe. This is, we've already gone upwind on switch. We've made up our ground. We want to do some surfing again. We want to get back to our regular stance. So it's nice to have the front hand switch to palm up while you're still in the harness, if you use one. Then get out of the harness and, you know, umbrella that wing and get that back foot out of the strap. This time you see it's a little bit closer to the center of the board. Then I just work my way around to the center of balance and you'll see I'm going downwind just a little bit. This is actually how I learned it. Just point downwind a little bit and then when you feel comfortable, work your way around, get that front foot in the strap and then start your turn. And it's pretty easy to turn over to strong side. And when you're ready, you can get that back foot back in the strap. A lot of times I don't even put the back foot in the strap if I'm gonna go for a long reach because I, it can, my foot starts cramping. It's only if I want to jump or surf hard that I put it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I used software to flip the image so that the goofy foots can see how all these jibes work that they should know in their direction. So strong side to toe side, you know, just start your turn, Left the wing, flip it around, repower, and ride toe side until you are ready to turn again. So this is toe side to strong side. You're going to work your way downwind. Try not to turn too fast, but once you do, you're able to crank really hard because you're going to end up in your normal riding position. Okay, strong side with a foot switch. We're going to... Go ahead and get our foot out, start gaining some speed, use the wing to pull ourselves down wind. We're going to go all the way over to toe side, riding that foil with front foot pressure. Get our balance here and then quickly switch feet. And the last one is toe side with the foot switch first. You get that foot out, you find that center of balance, go down wind just a little bit. Get onto that center of balance point and work your new front foot into the strap. And then you can crank into the turn. 
now that you're in your strong position. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, if not, you know, good luck.